walked out of an interview today before it even started. I had an interview scheduled by the manager at 100 at my local harbor freight. I arrived a few minutes early and was told it would be a couple minutes to which I thought was no problem I'm five minutes early I assume it may be at most 105 I have to wait till. After 15 minutes of waiting I asked another manager what was going on and was told it will just be another minute. Once it reached the 30 minute mark I decided my time was more valuable than this and went up to the manager I previously talked to and said that the waiting 30 minutes for an interview scheduled by someone in the store was unprofessional and that I would be leaving. I was met with hostility and told she's with her manager so that's the reason the wait is long. Not a valid excuse in my opinion when they should have cleared the time to take said interview they set up. All in all it felt good to stand up and have a voice instead of waiting like I would have done in the past. Good for you. If you had been a half hour late for work you definitely would have gotten shit for it. A few minutes, like 10 is fine. 30 minutes is not fine. If she's with her manager it's her job to tell her manager hey I'm sorry I have an interview a scheduled with someone can I come back in a minute. If she doesn't feel comfortable doing that then you don't want to work there anyway. Remember kids. Employers treat you the best they ever will during the interview process since they are still trying to convince you to come aboard. So if it's a crappy disrespectful baseline before you start working there, watch out and get out. Good job. Their failure to plan appropriately for a scheduled appointment speaks directly to incompetence on their part, which will make an already low-paying job an utter hell. Not even fast food sucks that hard. If you were 30 minutes late they would say that's unacceptable, but if they do it, somehow it's okay. If you want quality staff you need quality management. And that does not show quality management. It was likely preemptive shit testing. If you're willing to wait an hour for an interview then you're probably fairly desperate and they can push you around in other ways. Well done. Know your worth. Your time has value, and them casually delaying your scheduled meeting is an insult. If your managers are this poor at managing their time, I don't feel comfortable with them managing mine. I always wait it out. From reading these comments, I need not do so anymore. I have two instant walkout rules when it comes to interviews. One making someone wait more than 10 minutes after the agreed upon time. 2. Making someone who applied by a resume fill out a job application before doing said interview. Car dealerships do too a lot in my experience. If you need a job application done for record keeping then we can do that after you offer me the job. Not before it. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Interviews work in both directions. This happened to me when I was a young in applying for a local supermarket. I did end up waiting it out but after showing up for my first day and seeing how disorganized everything was, I clocked out after an hour and quit. I still have that paycheck too. I've read it's a tactic some places use to see if you'll wait. Should the manager come out to warmly greet you, apologized and explained for what is happening and asked if it's still okay to proceed after 30 minutes then I would have zip was shown here. She's telling you that your time isn't as valuable as hers, which is feeding into the treat employees like shit mentality. Cheers to you for recognizing that, for saying something, and for walking out with jaws dropped. But let me one wants to work anymore. She's with her manager so that's the reason the wait is long. But. They know that's worse, right? Not only does the manager not value a prospective employee's time, but their boss accepts and encourages that behavior. Dodged a bullet there. No one wants to interview anymore. I mean, yeah she is the manager and shit happens. It only takes a minute to have someone tell you there is a delay so you are not just there wondering what is up. Saying that she is with her manager just told you that there are two levels of management that don't value employees. It may or may not be true, but that is the optic. Managers should know this. You're late, they fire you, they're late, they don't give a fuck. Nope we ain't playing that game. It's bad that they became hostile to you when you've been punctual polite. I think a bit of payback is deserved. I'd be tempted to either write or email the CEO of the company.
You never know the CEO may be completely in the dark about how badly the place is run. Could even lead to an offer of something higher up the chain. More like harbor weight. You were 100 right to do this. If you were 30 minutes late to an interview, would they have even interviewed you to start with? Probably not. The hostility from the other manager was just an added bonus of two red flags in one day from that place. I bet their turnover rates are high as hell. You should have walked out without a word just to confuse them. Had an interview set up for some roofing company. Apparently no one knew anyone was even coming in for an interview. Ended up waiting an hour, interviewing with some jabroni who talked about nothing for 10 minutes and then said we'll keep you under consideration. Surprise surprise no one called me back. LOL wish I told them to screw. Had an interview like that, one of a series of several. The interview was about 30 minutes late, had no idea what I did or why she was interviewing me. Letting this one experience slide was the worst mistake I ever made. I did get the job, and this particular individual made my life a living hell shortly after. Still feeling PTSD from that previous job. Should have gone with my gut. Good for you they obviously don't give a shit about your time. My manager always does this as well. We have a weekly meeting and he waits until then to hold a meeting with our supervisor. While they have their meeting, we are literally just sitting there doing jack shit all. Waste of time cause we all have to come in for just that meeting. Needless to say I'm quitting at the end of the month party popper face with okay gesture. Good. If they were having a manager's meeting, they're either unorganized and don't know how to manage their time effectively or they don't care about anyone below them. One time I waited 45 minutes then got disrespected and humiliated by one of the two hiring managers when they finally showed up. Never again. I hate the ones for promotions that end being gotchas for incomplete projects. Major red flag, that. If manager can't say hey, supervisor, I know this is important but can I take five minutes to go check in with my scheduled interview before we finish? Then you know the whole top-down culture is fucked. You don't want to work there. Keep looking. When obedience to higher-ups is more important than the job you know it's a toxic workplace. Of course, I'm in a better position than you so I will make you wait for 30 minutes. I understand, still hate, waiting at a doctor dentist. I thought I read somewhere that this is a deliberate process. Someone who isn't willing to wait isn't desperate or subordinate enough. Clapping hand sign good for you clapping hand sign. I am a stickler for punctuality. There's no greatness to any sort of lateness whatsoever. I was interviewing for a serving job and waited like 15-20 minutes and finally the manager came out place was dead, not like the manager was running around. Two months later we interviewed this younger guy same thing, I went to the manager and said he was waiting, she just stood around and after a bit I asked if she was going to interview him, and she said that they purposely make interviewees wait to see how patient they are. Absolute BS. I didn't stay there long because a manager that doesn't respect their employees always has high turnover. Self-respect is precious. If employers want to take it, they must pay a premium. One of equal value. A serious premium. Fuck the thieves and liars. You absolutely did the right thing good on your for finding and communicating your boundaries. Also I prefer your typo be elevating cos I picture you fucking levitating out of that bitch all arms crossed and juices. 10 minutes, they could be taking a shit. 30 minutes, you better be passed out or dead. If the roles were reversed, they would have sent you right back home for being late. I feel like I would have waited for as long as possible until the interview started, waited for them to ask me a question then I would have flipped it. Why exactly do you think I should want to work at a company that made me wait half an hour for an interview what can you offer to offset this clear display of poor time management? Would it be acceptable for a client to wait for half an hour? I wouldn't let that happen. 